G'day people. Pretty amped this morning. Uh, got my workmate in the background there, setting up his kayak. There's a heap of risers so I can see on the water. Got some lures from Whitey. Got some good advice from everyone off the internet. And I'm uh, going to get the kayak out and hopefully get onto some trout. Cool. No, mate, I don't. Yeah. You got a spare? No, that's been one of my problems, mate. I, I was, I was going to get one last night. Hang on, mate. I just got to get this off. Oh, I'm all tangled up already. First five minutes of the day. That's the problem with these little bloody lures, eh? They just so catchy on everything, aren't they? Compliments of the Collie River. Oh, it's hard, bro. Thanks a lot. Look at this, folks. My workmate has just loaned me his net. This will come in handy. I uh, haven't had much success without one of these. Cheers, Dave. So I'm using a Warlock at the moment. A little clear one with, uh, with a sort of couple of red stripes on it. So, um... That's what Whitey's recommended me, that one, and, uh, and a green one, and, and a, uh, like a brownie coloured one. Hey! I just lost one! Well, that's a good sign. The lure works, Dave. I don't know whether you saw that, but just got smashed. Smashed enough, I saw it jump. But uh, next time, I guess. I think I'm going to head in, Hoggy. Right. I'm uh, soaked to the bone. <laughs> I can't be shagged anymore. Look into it. You got a depth sounder on there. Yeah. You're a cheeky bastard. <laughs> you still didn't catch a fish. What's going on? <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's, That's why I put the deeper lures on. I'm going to tie a little bit deeper. Yeah, well, I hope I put that deeper one on, and nothing happened. I got hit on that shallow one on the same as that one. Yeah, remember? well, you the trout normally sit on the top. Yeah. Well, it was the same. It was the same as this lure. Is what I got hit on, but it was the clear one with the red stripes. Okay. But the same lure, and it only dives down about bloody yeah. yay far. Yeah, is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I got that's what I got. The rod buckled over. The bloody fish jumped out of the water. I picked up the rod. No fish. <laughs> I got one. Little one. Tiny little thing. Tiny little thing. Come here. Come here, little buddy. Come here, little buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my first little trout. Oh, so 
flighty. Off he went. Well, I went out with an objective to catch a trout. Um, the last time I caught a trout, I was in my early 20s, and I caught one from the trout farm. Uh, when that was operating down near North Cliff, uh, Pemberton Way. So, I've had a couple of goes, nothing serious, haven't really investigated how to do it. I've had a few goes over the last sort of 24 months and I've had no success so anyway I gathered all the advice I bought the lures that were recommended um, my workmate took me to a, a place where he regularly catches trout and uh, yeah I've had a successful morning really I um, I got hit once on the warlock, uh, clear with the red stripes, and uh, the one I just caught um, was the warlock in the, I think it's the trout pattern, it's the little orangey coloured one. So I'm pretty happy, really, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, thanks to my workmate Dave. Cheers buddy, you've made my weekend, and, um, and uh, the, the bloke on the Collier Facebook page that recommended I use the Warlocks, uh, I took your advice there mate, um, thank you very much, so how that come about was you were the first person to recommend it, so cheers, and um, then it was recommended by a second person, and then when I went into Whitey's Tackle, they recommended that I use them as well. So I thought, well, three people can't be wrong. I've had plenty of other recommendations for other lures, and uh, I'll get to those, absolutely. But for today, it was the Warlocks that did the trick. I got hit on the red one, and hit on the orange one. Stoked. <laughs>